you guys. Welcome to my channel, it's David here. As you probably guessed that I'm out here getting my day started again. This is around the time that I usually try to come out here around 7-ish. Sun's going down, it's getting cool. I've been editing all day. So this is great. This is fun, relaxes my mind. And so in today's video, I just want to go over the settings that I use while I'm shooting actually to give you the results that you see in the videos to maximize the results. Uh, certain tactics that I use um, to get the maximum re results. And that's what I want to go over in this video. So tune in, stay in just to see inside of what I do. In this video, I just want to go over like um, how I go about like the settings, right? Um, I always shoot manual, which is important. I recommend every single one of you that watches to shoot in manual. It's just the best way. I know it can be difficult, but that, that's anything in life has that has like a big, um, that has like a big learning curve. It's gonna be worth it in the end. So you just keep pushing forward, you, you'll get there. And, and so I recommend shooting manual and, and the settings that I use, I it, it depends. But for starters, the rule for me is that I always keep my my shutter speed at double the focal length of my lens. So for example, on the lens that I use, is the 85 1.4 right here. And it's a prime lens, meaning it stays at 85 for, for the people that I don't know. I didn't know at first what a prime and zoom, even though it's in the name, but I didn't know. So um, prime are locked in lenses, uh, lenses, for example, the 50 and 35 and 85. Those are prime lenses. There's a few more. And, and back to what I was saying, for this one, you gotta double it. For, so it'd be 170, try to keep it above 170. Just a good roll. And for me, I keep it around over like 220, 250 around there just to be sure. Sometimes it just depends. Mm -hmm. And um, ISO, ISO, I try to keep it as low as I can, but as the sun starts going down, I of course gotta raise it up a bit. If I have to, I'm, uh, I'll raise it up as long as I keep my shutter speed above 200. Unless I'm going for that artistic blur or whatever, but I go more for sharpness. I'm more into the sharp look. So that's all what I do. Now in terms of f-stop, of course this camera has a really good as 1.4. So it gives me a lot of stops, which is good at 1.4. I, I try to keep it at 1.4. I only raise it if it's like a big group and I, um, you know, I, I need more people in focus then I, I raise it up but for the most part i keep it pretty low and that that's just the tool that i use that um and in terms of lighting this lighting is important when i'm here when i'm out here it is moving the settings also knowing where the light is coming from and trying to find like the best like spot possible and, and that's what photography is it's, it's it's a lot to it so i hope that helps you uh, hope answer any questions you might have now I'm gonna do another video. My next video, I'm gonna go over more like my editing style, and I want to go more over like um, do more of like point of view or third person point of view of what I do. So cool! Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm.